please welcome Reggie Showers from PTC, our championship sponsor. Reggie. Hey, good morning, everybody. How you Warriors doing? You guys ready for the competition? <laughs> All right, I can't wait to see it happen. My name is Reggie Showers, and I'm one of the ambassadors for PTC. And I can, can't tell you, this is some, such an honor for me to be here uh, recognizing you guys for your accomplishments and making it to championship. On behalf of everybody from PTC, we wanted to say congratulations to each and every one of you for maintaining the standard of excellence that is required of you by the FIRST program. You've proven to your teachers, you've proven to your coaches, you've proven to your parents, and most importantly, you guys have proven to yourselves that you have what it takes to be the technology leaders of tomorrow, the technology leaders that our world so desperately needs. So I want you guys to uh, take a good look at me. All right, what's the first thing you notice about me? I'm bald. All right, take a closer look. I'm black. <laughs> what I'm getting at is I want you to take a look at my legs. Thank you. I've got magic legs, like Forrest Gump says. My legs are magic. I, um, both of my legs were amputated in a traumatic accident, that, uh, an electrocution accident that I suffered when I was just 14 years old. It was the same age of some of the competitors here this weekend. And um, I never let the disability stop me from achieving my dreams and my goals in life. And um, talented, thank you. You know, there were some talented engineers who used software like PTC Creo to design my prosthetic legs and my prosthetic feet, which allowed me to learn to walk again and also allowed me to pursue some of my childhood dreams. And one of my childhood dreams was to become a pilot and fly airplanes. You know, it's what I always wanted to do as a small kid. And uh, today, I can proudly stand before you and tell you that I am a licensed pilot and I fly airplanes, even as an amputee. Thank you. Another one of my childhood dreams, I had a lot of goals as a kid. Um, another one of my childhood dreams was to become a professional motorcycle racer. You know, who would have thought that's outside the box, you know? And I can stand before you today and proudly say that even as an amputee, I am not only a one-time, but a two-time world champion motorcycle drag racer. <laughs> Thank you. And um, for the last seven years, I have been honing my skills at snowboarding, believe it or not. And today, I can proudly say that even as an amputee, I am a certified snowboard instructor who is on his way to the 2018 Paralympic Games in Korea. Thank you. Now, I don't tell you these things to try to impress you with what it is that I can do. Well, what I want to do is impress upon you what a child can accomplish, what each and every one of you is capable of doing when you are taught to believe in yourselves and your capabilities despite some of the challenges that we all face in life. There was talented engineers who, who built my prosthetic legs and allowed me to pursue my goals and, and my dreams, and they were kids just like you, who like science, technology, engineering, and math. And they went on to be innovators and leaders in their respective uh, communities and in, and in their respective um, uh, divisions, if you will. I, um, 
I'm so very thankful for each and every one of those engineers that made a difference in my life because I would not be standing here before you if it wasn't for them and, and all that they did for me. I want to share with you a, a, a fact as I'm closing. I want to share with you a fact. Each and every one of you was born with a specific talent and specific abilities that the world needs, that humanity needs. Greatness is written in your DNA codes. Your parents know this, your coaches know this, your, your mentors know this, all of the first program directors know this, the sponsors of FIRST know this, I know this. And we're doing everything that we can do in our power to, to guide you, to support you, make sure that you get everything you need to become the leaders of tomorrow. And we need you to become the leaders of tomorrow. I would not be standing here today if it wasn't for engineers, okay? So thank you so very much. Once again, I wanna congratulate you on your accomplishment for making the championships. I look forward to meeting as many of you as I possibly can today in person because, believe it or not, I am in the process of building my own robot and I need all the expert advice that I can get God bless you all. Go first.